Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, you motherfuckers. <clears throat> well, well, well there. Uh, I started to talk on the video and then the video took a shit again. And uh, the reason the video always takes a shit is I have like 4,000 pictures and videos on here from riding my bike and I've never cleaned the shit out so I have no memory so I constantly have to go through there and just start ping pong ping ding dong ding dong and erasing shit and the worst part about that is I know I'm gonna regret erasing some stuff or I'm gonna erase some shit that I'll never get back or I won't remember so I'll just have to forget about it I don't know anybody else have any problem with that shit it's the worst thing in the world man like I thought the cloud was like, like for infinity. Apparently that cloud ain't for shit because it fills up so damn quick. But uh, <clears throat> today is going to be a little sucky suck. Uh, we got more car problems, kids. Uh, speaking of kids, here's one for you guys. If, uh, if you're watching this and uh, you don't own a car yet, <clears throat> the worst part about getting a car is eventually the car turns into a piece of shit. Cars depreciate like like shit. So basically, if you're rich, just buy the car. <laughs> if you're poor, <clears throat> just get a really cheap, inexpensive car and know that you're not gonna keep it long and keep flipping it. Once it has a problem, get rid of it and get another one. Or, if you got good credit, lease the car. There's no sense in getting a car with somewhat miles on it and then having problems and having to fix it and it falling apart like a piece of shit. And then you owe car payments because your car is still taking a doo-doo. So <clears throat> I bought this car brand new. It had like two miles on it. And now it's got 97,919 miles. And now it's just starting to fall apart. And I want to lease a car, but of course I can't lease a car because I have the craziest problems with cars. Here, I'll give you the story of this. This is, this is the kind of luck that I have. All right, so I moved to New Jersey. When you move to New Jersey, in order to get car registration and uh, health insurance, or health insurance, car insurance, the car has to be registered in New Jersey, obviously. That's obvious, right? So you gotta go to the DMV, which by the way, the DMV here is fucking horrible. Wherever you're from, your DV, DMV is nothing compared to New York, New Jersey's DMV. It opens at, I think it's like 8 in the morning. If you're not there at 6 in the morning, you're going to be waiting two blocks. Two city blocks. I swear to God, the line is that long. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. So, anyway... I have to get my New Jersey driver's license and then I gotta get this car registered in New Jersey and then get insurance. Insurance is the easiest, that's nothing, right? But in order to get the car registered here, I gotta have the bank here. And before I had the bank, it was in Montana. So what I had to do was go to the bank and refinance my loan and get it set up here and then go back to the DMV and get my car registered in New Jersey. All right, so in Montana, when you go to Montana and you register your car, it goes like this. If you don't own your car, it goes your name and then it goes the bank. Whoever you get the car loan from, the bank's gotta be on the car registration. All right, so I come here I go stand in line at the DMV for four fucking hours, which is the worst experience ever. All the people that work in DMVs are fucking assholes. 
on they have every right to be an asshole because they're around people all day long that are fucking assholes. So it's just a big fest of assholes trying to do what they need to do and get everything done and it's selfish and it's me, 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 me. So <clears throat> anyway, I get to the line after filling out the paperwork, sitting in there for four hours and the lady's like, it'll be $1,000 to register your car, all right? I don't have $1,000, but I had $1,000, so I spent $1,000 to get my car registered in New Jersey, so I get that done, register the car, and uh, you would think it would all be done and everything would be perfect. I go to the bank, I go show the bank the paper that I got it registered so then I can get the title and everything set and then they look at it and they say uh, Mr. Lopez it's supposed to go the bank then your name we're going to need you to rechange it or if you don't change it we're going to give you the worst interest rate on your bank loan of course I'm already broke All right, it cost me $1,000 to stand in line for 4 hours they want me to go back, stand in line another four hours, and spend another thousand dollars to put their fucking name first, then put my name. All right? So, long story short, I didn't have another thousand dollars. They said they wouldn't reimburse my thousand if I went back and did it. So, my interest rate on my car loan went from a fucking 7.5 to a 24.5 interest rate. 24.5. I am fucked. I have been paying for three years 24.5 interest rate on this car. Now you're saying, why don't you switch it? Well, I would love to switch and get out of this and go get another car loan. But if you've watched my videos long enough, you'll know that I had to file bankruptcy five years ago. And when you file bankruptcy, your credit restarts over. So my credit score isn't that high and the last thing I wanna do is go and take out another loan. So I try to be positive and I look at it like this. All right, Ricky, here it is. You can't go get a new car. You're stuck in this car. <clears throat> you know how much the payment is a month. You're just gonna have to live with it for a couple more years. So I'm gonna be paying 24.5 interest rate on this piece of shit car that isn't worth anything and I'm still paying off two other cars before this car. So basically, this piece of shit right here is three cars that I'm stuck in with all the three loans that I've ever had. I only have a few thousand dollars more left. I'm gonna pay that shit off and the next car I get, I'm just gonna get a lease. No more of this garbage ass buying a car or doing any of that shit. Get a lease, lease your car, have it for two years, get a brand new one, switch that bitch out. Nobody gives a shit. Cars are just like rent, all right? If you're renting something, it means you don't own it, you're fucking borrowing it. It's better to just goddamn lease it than to be stuck and take it up the ass all day long. So word to the wise to all you kids out there, don't go and get a bank loan and try to get a car because five years later that car ain't worth shit, all right? I paid 20 some thousand dollars for this car. I went online to look up what this car's worth now. It's seriously like $3,000, all right? I owe more to the bank because of this interest rate than what the car's worth. So, I gotta go put more money in this piece of shit. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the car to the dealership because I have a recall that I gotta get fixed again, which is in the steering column. Thank God, it's free. So I gotta go drop the car off and then I gotta stop at AutoZone later today and I gotta buy rotors and brake pads. I have, my rear brakes are almost done. My car is squeaking, it's falling apart, it's a piece of shit. 
So good thing I got a friend that's gonna help me put those on and teach me, then I don't have to do them again. And I'm pretty sure all you auto heads are out there like, oh, Ricky, you don't know how to, you know how to fix a car, bro? You're fucking retarded. No, I don't know how to fix a car, all right? I'm lucky I even know how to put gas in that bitch. You know what? I can barely fix my bike. I've been riding BMX for almost 26 years now, and I literally just got comfortable putting my bottom bracket in. I still can't true my wheels. I suck at ass at putting on the tires the right way. I don't know about any of you guys, but you know the tread goes one way or the other. I can never figure that shit out. So when I have to change a flat or change my tires, I always have to stare at the tires and make sure I'm putting them on right. Brakes? Oh, God. Brakes on a BMX bike? Fuck no. I suck ass at those. They always work like shit. It just sucks. Just anything maintenance. I'm not good at that, but I am good at cleaning. For some reason, I can scrub the fuck out of a toilet, but I can't install a toilet. And that's just kind of the way it goes. Some people are, some people are mechanical and other people are me mechanical inclined. Is that whatever the word is? All right, either way, I just suck ass at that stuff. It just, I wasn't meant to do that. You know what I was meant to do? Talk. There might be people out there that can take a car apart and then put it back together, but they can't talk for shit. But I can out-talk any of those bastards. So, I gotta rush home, pay rent, take my car to the car lot, and then I gotta walk to Starbucks, and then ZJ's gonna come pick me up. <clears throat> so this morning's gonna be an adventure. And yesterday, oh God, yesterday. Yesterday sucked ass. I had the worst headache all day long. And then since I'm a hypochondriac, all I could think was like, oh shit, I got a migraine. Oh, oh, and then my arm was hurting. So I was like, oh dude, am I eating too much fat stuff? Is my arm blocking up? Am I, you know, oh God. I just kept coming up with all of these things inside my head. So I was starting to have like a nervous breakdown or getting all fidgety and feeling crazy yesterday and somehow I ended up surviving past that. I had to tell myself to shut the fuck up but I was starting to have an episode yesterday and those those are the worst for me. I don't know if any of you guys on here or girls, maybe there's one or two girls on here that watch this or women or ladies or whatever but I don't know if you end up having an episode and if you can battle it or you just go along with it, or you're good at forgetting it. Now, if I can, like, distract myself, I can forget what happens. But that's really hard. Now, I can go along with it, or the other one is, is I have to go to bed. Like, I gotta fall asleep and let the new day start over and reset my body and my mind. And that's basically what it took yesterday because I just was feeling like shit. And it wasn't like a, a physical kind of shit, it was a mental type of shit. And that's the worst for me. Me fighting my mental, my mental problems can just be such a pain in the ass. It's almost like these videos, like sometimes I get like nervous about doing these videos. Like, oh, I'm gonna do these videos and how many people are actually sitting and watching these things because you're going for like 20 minutes and you're just talking about your everyday life and you're talking about things that happen in your life or what's going day to day and are people really interested in this? And then you start like second guessing like, are you doing this for nothing? What, what's the purpose of doing this? And then, as corny as this sounds, sometimes I'll go back and I'll watch what I'm doing and I'll be like, ah, oh, I actually like enjoy this in a sense that like, all right, while I'm doing these, it seems retarded because I'm doing so much, uh, I'm doing so much talking and <clears throat> it seems like it's a jobbled mess, but then when I listen to it and watch it, it kind of makes sense. Somehow, I'll have the conversation, I'll describe everything that I have going on, and yada, 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 da, 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 da. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go get an acai bowl, all right? I deserve an acai bowl. 
and then I'm gonna drive my car over to the dealership, get my car fixed. ZJ is gonna come pick me up, and I'm just gonna enjoy life. That's what I gotta do. And as for thinking, like, hey, do people like these videos or do they not? Well, I get comments, and comments are the most important thing. And I'm pretty sure I would have more negativity in the comments at the below telling me, hey, sucko, your shit sucks ass. So. That's just another like little inner demon that I have sometimes too. But I'm gonna keep and be perseverance or whatever the word is, or I'm gonna battle through my, uh, you know, that mental thing that's like, hey, you should stop doing these because these are suck ass and you're barely getting any views and these are corny and actually do this because I enjoy doing it. And, it's, and like I've said before, it's very therapeutic. Um, I have a lot of like serious topics that I need to talk about but I need to be at my house and have some pictures and have some documents and just things to go along with those so I promise I'm going to do some of those um, I got some BMX ideas where I'm going to have some friends involved in them I'll shoot some videos and do those things too but right now just the driving and talking to you guys is what's working the best for me it's just more convenient for me it allows me to get out what I need to get out and it just makes sense at the moment. But I promise I'll make things better. Um, for now, I'm gonna use the same intro and the outro. Um, I do have a video that I made with my friend that I will be having drop soon. Um, the only problem is, is I'm, he had to edit it for me and he's got to get me the video and if anybody does video shit they know how hard it is to transfer videos from one person to another person it is fucking annoying but <clears throat> all right guys you got any questions or you guys got any ideas that you like me to talk about go ahead and leave them below if you guys are just curious about my life or you guys have topics about my life that you're curious about let me know if you just bought a brand new car let's talk about that car uh, make sure to leave me a like leave some comments down below make sure to share this on Facebook share it on your Instagram to the five or six people that constantly share these videos on their Instagram seriously thank you so much for that um, I see them I repost them it really helps me out thanks so much uh, to everybody that DMs me about problems they have and stuff like that, I also appreciate that because it lets me know that I've reached you guys and it just lets me know that I'm not alone. And this part sounds super fucking corny, but just because I have some popularity and people know who I am doesn't mean that I don't have problems. Everybody has problems. And it doesn't mean that I'm some victim either. I just, it's just regular. Every regular person has regular problems. Some people know how to talk about those problems. Other people bottle those problems. And we've talked about this plenty of times. So make sure you guys share it. Hit the notification bell. I love all you motherfuckers. And beep. And marijuana.